So what is your, what is your relationship with Rocky and how has it helped you in your career? So when I was training, there was a school that was much closer to my house. So I'm from the Valley, which is like, this is know, Southern California. Yeah. So I'm, I'm in the Valley. It's like North Los Angeles and my school was in East LA. So I would drive two hours to my school every day and an hour home. It was like a pain in the ass. When I was about a year into my training, Rocky started training at the championship wrestling from Hollywood school, which was in the Valley. So every Wednesday he would go and, you know, whoever wanted to show up could pay 10 bucks and they would go train for a few hours with Rocky. It was really bizarre because nobody went, it would be me and three other guys. Some of the guys didn't really end up doing much. I think Rocky saw in me that I was willing to do whatever it took to take it to that next level. He really took me under his wing and he taught me a lot about character work and he taught me a lot about just wrestling in general. I think at that time. I, I was really heavily into New Japan Pro Wrestling and just wanting to know more about Japanese-style wrestling. Obviously, WWE was the, the biggest thing that you could do that wasn't Ring of Honor or New Japan. I never wanted to be a, a, a WWE big guy, a stereotypical big boot, a clubbing hand. It's like I wanted to be like, you know, the, the big guys from Japan when Bam Bam were like, all those guys were just doing crazy stuff or just like having these huge Haas matches. Shinsuke Kazaki and, and Kobashi were just having these big moments in his being these massive dudes. I wanted to learn how to do stuff like that. Even though Rocky is very much a junior heavyweight, he was able to kind of like guide me in the right direction. I mean, he played a huge part in my career and, and in my wrestling in general, he kind of opened the door for me to go to new Japan, for me to go to ring of honor. And, uh, I, I think without him, I wouldn't have had a lot of other connections or experiences I've had so far. We had him on, what was it, second or third, maybe even fourth time on this podcast. He's like maybe the first four-time guest we've had. Mm. I think finally we kind of got around to asking and talking to him about, you know, he, he's getting up there in age and finally in this career, he's really getting his comeuppance. He's, he's really getting the recognition he deserves and it couldn't have happened to a greater guy. Yeah, he's so humble. I feel he's so nice and so he's just... You would never think that of the stuff that he's done unless he told you, you know what I mean? He's done it all. And like, he has been in the business for so long. He's known so many people and he's one of the best wrestlers on the planet, bar none. He, he will make anyone look incredible and also just entertain his ass off in front of anybody. It's no wonder why he'll show up on impact or he'll show up on AEW or ring of honor or anywhere and just like kill it. And everyone wants him there. It's really rare that you see somebody come around and the entire lo locker room is like, Oh shit, Rocky's here. Everyone has to go say hi to him and like talk to him because he's just that guy. It's not a fake thing at all. He's just a good human being. 